This is the box that contains all the electronics. And we use the, the front side of the box as the solar power system. The cables, they come out here. And then it goes here in the power control unit. This is the uh, other two, three, two connector to the, uh, from the uh, digitizer to the power control unit. And then to the outside. So this is the GPS cable. So this is for the physics antenna. So we have only double polarization channels yes. here? Yes. Only uh, north, south and east, west. And what about the vertical? Well, if you believe in Maxwell law, then the vertical comes for free. But there are plans to look also for the vertical polarization as a separate antenna. Because in principle, you can then, with one antenna station, you can determine the direction of the uh, pulse. This is actually the electronic box for the, the whole station. And the battery will be here. Okay. It's not uh, fitted yet. This will be done by the final inspection team. And how long will it last the battery? We did have batteries uh, in the field. They have been running for four years. And these were batteries that were not such a high quality as the new batteries. So I think we can do this for five, five years. So the signal goes over this cable, and then it goes into the digitizer. The digitizer uh, sends it uh, through the comp system uh, to the data acquisition system. What is the need of the solar power? It's too expensive to get uh, power cables in the pampas, and the same is also for the communication system. This is why the station has to get its own energy and also to get a wireless communication with the access point on the hill. So this it's sort of an autonomous system. This is the main pole, which is already in the pampas at this moment. It's a very simple system. The deployment uh, takes one hour to put it onto the pole. Uh, put the antenna cables in, mount, uh, align the uh, communication uh, antenna and ask the operator on the other side uh, if the system goes. AERA is an engineering array, so it's not yet just implementing the best solution we have at the moment, but it's also testing about new solutions which could be of use for future arrays. So it's more a technical experiment. So we have several solutions at the same time to get experience and then maybe in one or two years know which one is the best. Nevertheless, we are here because the Auger Observatory is here. Now you're seeing a shower which has hit the array which is shown here represented by pyramids. And the size of the pyramid is proportional to the signal size of each tank. This shower has come in at an angle of about 60 degrees to the vertical and is a special event in that two of the fluorescence detectors, the one at Los Morados and the one at Los Leones, have both seen light shown by the blue and red features. From this we can reconstruct the direction of the event to an accuracy of about 0.1 degree and measure the primary energy to about 20%. And the energy of these particles can be as great as that of a tennis ball moving at 60 miles per hour. And they're really phenomenal, and how nature organizes itself to produce these particles is remarkable. 